When you're uninstalling the pre-built or the built-in application in Windows 10, there are two sets of packages you have to deal with. The first set is the AppX packages, which are installed with the operating system. The second set is the provision packages, which are installed the first time you log into Windows as it sets up a profile. So I'm starting here with Windows PowerShell ISV opened up as administrator. And the first thing I'm going to do is get a list of the packages are installed. And we'll use the get app x package commandlet. Go ahead and hit F8. We get a nice list of the packages and all the details for each particular package. The same thing with the provision packages. The online switch is telling the commandlet that I'm interested only in the packages in the current online operating system. You do have the option to remove the packages from an image file. You just need to put the path parameter and then tell it where the image file is located. And then you can remove those packages from an image file, which obviously can be installed later. So to get this list, we'll hit F8. Again, we get a list of packages and the details regarding that package. Now, to uninstall a single package is as simple as just calling the get app x package, inputting the package name, and then pipe it through the, the remove AppX package commandlet. Here, I'm going to show you how to uninstall the print 3D package. Let's go ahead and hit F8, and we'll get the, in this case, I'm interested in the name of the package. As you can see here, we've got the name Microsoft print 3D, and then we'll just pipe it through the remove AppX package commandlet. F8. As you can see, it has uninstalled it. Let's go ahead and verify that. And you see it came back with an empty prompt. Now to uninstall the provision package, we're going to use a particular field. For this example, I'm going to uninstall the Windows calculator. Again, we're going to use the get app x provision package commandlet. The online switch is telling I want to, I'm interested in the current online operating system. And in this case, I'm looking for the Microsoft Windows Calculator application. I'm going to hit F8. And you see we got the information about that particular application. In this case, I'm going to use the package name field to remove the application. And to remove it, we just call the remove app x provision package commandlet. Again, we need to tell the commandlet that we're interested in the online current online operating system and then the package name, and then we give it the package name that we're interested in. In this case, we're using the full package name of the Windows Calculator app. And we'll hit F8 to uninstall that. And now let's go back up here and make sure that it got uninstalled. I'll try to get that package. And you can see it returned empty prompt and the package has been uninstalled. Now, uninstalling single packages is a little impractical as you probably have a list or several applications that you want to uninstall. And for that, we're going to build out a list of packages and then build an array and then build a for loop to step through the array. To get started, we'll need to get a list of the packages. And here I'm going to, just as before, use the get app x package to list the current packages that are installed. And as it goes through the list, the fields I'm interested in is the name field. I'm going to use that name field in my script. And here I'm going to, again, call the get app x package. I'm going to select that name field and then output it to a text file and then open it up in the ISE so I can manipulate it. I'm going to hit F8 here. You can see now I have a nice list that I can deal with. Copy and paste and use this text file to build out my array and build out my list. And then we can do the same thing with the provision package. Again, we're going to use the get app x provision commandlet. We're interested in the online and the field that we're interested in is called the display name field. In fact, let me show you what that looks like before I go any further. Let's go ahead and hit F8. You see, I got a nice list of applications with just the display name, which is equivalent to the name field in the AppX package. So we got this display name, and now I'm going to output it to a text file called papps, 
and then open it up in the ISC to uh, so I can have it available for me. So I'll hit an F8. And you see now I have all the applications and I now I can just highlight and cut and paste to build out my array. Okay, so let's start building out the script to remove the built-in applications. First thing you want to do is use these two text files to get a list of the applications that I'm interested in uninstalling. Remember, there's two lists, the provision packages here, and then the app packages that were installed as part of the operating system. Once I get those lists, I can build out my array. And here I've called the array provision app packages names and I made my list and each package is enclosed in quotes. So now I've got my array built out, let's go ahead and load up to memory. And then let's make sure my array is loaded properly. I will get call out the array and step through each package. And we'll see what we got here. You see now the last item is Zoom video and the last item here is also Zoom video. So now we're ready to uninstall all of the packages. In the for loop, I have the array name, and then, now let's go ahead and get these uh, packages uninstalled. Again, I've got my for loop going. We have the get epic package, we're calling it. The names I'm going to use are the names in my array, and the all user switch is to remove the packages for all users. Any user that's been logged in will remove all the packages for each profile. And then we'll pipe it through the remove apx package command lip. And for the provisions, just like before, we're calling to call that get app x provision pack command lip. We want the online or the current operating system. And we're going to use the display name field. Again, we're going to step through my array and then pipe it through the remove app x provision package command lip. Again, telling it we're interested in the current online operating system. So let's highlight this code. It'll hit F8. And this will take a few minutes to run, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, my script has completed running, and it has completed uninstalling those built-in applications. Let's go ahead and verify that again. Again, let me load up my array just to make sure. And then we'll get a list and make sure that they all been uninstalled. And there you go. I returned nothing, so all those packages in my array have been uninstalled. Thanks for watching.